In this video, we're going to focus on how we can control and only show specific ticks, for example here, number 20, number 6, and number 0. So let's start to look how to show specific ticks in the Y scale in ChartJS 4. First of all, make sure you get the boiler template, and the boiler template can be found here on ChartJS3.com getting started. This link here, which you can find in the description box. And once you're on here, copy this chunk of code. Next, if you want to have the source code of many of my videos, check out my Patreon here on ChartJS or patreon.com slash ChartJS. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to reduce the amount of lines here on our uh, grid line. So on the Y scale, I want to start to play around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here a comma. And I'm going to say here now the after tick to label conversion. So this is a callback functionality. I'm going to type it in after tick to label conversion conversion all right and then here i'm going to say ctx and then i'm going to put in here a function error expression because it's a callback functionality and what i want to do here now is to do a console log and say ctx if i save this refresh open up developer tab you can see here we got a lot of information but what i truly want is basically the ticks here we have all this information so what i'm going to do now is if i say here dot ticks save refresh we can see here we get an array with every tick that we have. In our case, we want to reduce that. We want to have, for example, 0, 6, and 18. So how can we change this? Well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to say all these ticks need to be removed. So what I'm going to do here is say enter. And I'm going to say here ctx.ticks equals 0. So basically you're going to make this array a blank array. By doing that, you can see here now our array uh, has disappeared because every tick is not being recognized anymore. And now what I want to do is I want to push new specific values in this tick here. So what I'm going to say here is ctx dot ticks dot push. And then what I can do here is add up the values and the values. If you see here is like value and label, that's a standard structure. So what I want to do now is I want to change this to a new value, let's say zero, that's the first one I want, and then the label could be, uh, let's say here, baseline, for example. If I save this, refresh, there we are. Now we get a baseline, but of course I want to have another one. We can say, yeah, let's make this zero, just to make it more appropriate. Another thing, of course, I want to make sure that I want to have multiple items pushed. So let's say here for number six, I want, and this will be the uh, uh, midline or something like that. I'm just making up stuff as I go. And I make say the, I will say here number 20, because we have no 20, we only have 18. You'll see that this one will not show or it might show. Let's see. So here, top line. If I save this, refresh, you can see here we have the midline. And the top line is not being shown. Why? Because our value here is 18. So if I say this is 18, that's fine, then it will show. If it doesn't show, or we want 20, what I can say here, I want to say here the minimum, or not minimum, the maximum value should be number 20. If I save this, refresh, you can see here now we have the top line, a midline, and zero. And of course, this could be number six, or you can say here six, and column 20. Save this, refresh. There we are, and that's how you do it. 